So the first law of thermodynamics can be expressed in the form of delta U is Q plus W. So this kind of question, right, is very important to define carefully and be very aware or sensitive about the plus minus sign. Okay, so what does the plus sign represent? And what does the minus sign represent? Because if not, uh, then you, you kind of like, will give something that is very vague and generic, and that will not give you answer. So for example, if they say positive Q, it is heat energy transfer. Q is heat, right? Heat energy transfer positive into the system. Into is important, okay? And positive W here means work done on the system. So this is external work. When you do work on the system, you are adding energy to it. This volume decreases because there's an external force pushing down on the gas. All right. Anyway, state one is represented by a negative value of delta U. Delta U is internal energy. So this one shows a decrease in internal energy. Okay, last one. Oh, beautiful PV graph. Okay, and uh, you are given a lot of information here. It's a bit of an information overload. So I think everything is labeled already. The only thing that is not labeled is the energy transfer. Okay, so it says here that the gas has this initial state at point A, and then the gas is compressed suddenly so that no thermal energy enter or leave the gas so this one q is zero during the compression the amount of work done is 480 joule w so that at point b the gas has a volume of this much pressure of this much and a temperature of that much okay so this is b so from a to b let me look at here a to b this point of the graph we will q is zero and then the w is positive 480 joule work done the amount of work done yes the 480 joule furthermore this is positive 480 because from a to b which is up here the volume decrease that's why this is positive. Okay, this is AB for this reaction, for this uh, transformation here, this process here. All right, we're going to continue. The gas is now cooled at constant volume. When I say constant volume, W will be equal to zero because delta V is zero and W is P delta V. Okay. Between the points B and C, 110 joule of thermal energy is transferred. This Q is 1100 joule. But sure, positive or negative? Hmm, not sure yet. Need to decide. So I'm going to put a plus minus 110. Don't know. At point C, the gas has a pressure of this much and a temperature of that much. Okay, so this is my point C now with the same volume. Finally, the gas returns to point A. So the gas is going to go like this, like this, like this. Okay? And what I do know is, when you go from B to C, W is 0 here. But Q here is plus or minus 11002. Let's see if we have some information to help us figure out whether it's plus or minus. Part 1. State and explain the total change in internal energy for one complete cycle. So if it's one complete cycle, meaning you go in this direction, right? You return back to the initial state. This was A, this is B, this is C. If you return to the initial state, your temperature is the same. So this is a cycle and we are we go from A and back to A. So the temperature of the complete cycle remains the same 
no change in temperature. Hence, there is no change in internal energy. Pretty important to remember that internal energy U can be calculated using the equation 3 over 2 nKT. So the only thing that can affect your U is your temperature. Of course, this is for ideal gas only. La. Okay? So the only thing that can affect your internal energy is your temperature. Internal energy is the molecule vibrating and moving. So the only thing that can make the molecule vibrate and move faster is to increase the temperature. That's all. Part 2. Calculate the external work done during the expansion from C to A. So if I look at my graph, right, I'm going to sketch here. But C to A is actually here to here. Okay? And then uh, if I extrapolate the graph here to here, what I'm looking for is actually this area. The whole area from here to here. P delta V, what? The pressure is constant. So this is work done, W, from C to A. So I'm going to take this pressure. This pressure here, 246, looks like 1.6. And this value here would be 7, 5, 8, 5, 9, 5. I have to press my calculator a bit because the scale they're using bit odd, not going to lie. 2, 5, 1, 5, 3, times 5, 5, So this is 0 0.875. Weird scale, you guys. Followed by the other one which is this one here, right? This one here is two, four, six, six boxes. Okay, la. 0 0.25 from 0 0.75 to 1 is 10 small boxes. So one small box is 0 0.025, okay? So I will take 6 times 0 0.025, that number again. 0 0.15 plus 2.25. So this one here is 2.4. Okay. So to find the work done from C to A, I will take P, change in volume. Pressure is 1.6. Don't forget there's always a prefix hiding in the label times 10 to the power of 5. And the change in volume will be 2.4 minus 0 0.875 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Do not forget that there is also another prefix here. Okay, and then you can press your calculator. Okay, moving this over now and pressing my calculator. This will give me 75 times 1.6, 2.44. So this will be 244 joule. Or if I want to write 2SF, then 240. Okay. And finally, we have a Sodoku. We have to complete the table. Changes from different parts of the interaction Q, W, and delta U. Okay. This one is actually quite a nice bonus mark. But to do that, I'm going to bring the table to the graph. All right. So right now, we're going to think about process AB first because AB is our first process. So from A to B, I know the heat transfer is zero. Question give one. And then the work done is positive 480 Joule because volume decrease. So from uh, first law of thermodynamics, delta U is actually equal to Q plus W. Meaning in this Sodoku puzzle, you take this plus this, you get delta U. So 0 plus 480 is positive 480. Done. All right. B to C, no change in volume. So W will be 0. Okay. What about this Q? Hmm. Don't know yet. I'm going to leave it empty. Is it plus? Is it minus? Don't know. But I do know the W from C to A. This one just now we calculated uh, as your 
uh, 244, I'm going to put 240, okay, to stick to 2SF. But this one must be negative because volume increase. Volume increase. So this will be negative 240 joule. Okay. So right now, um, what we have left is actually to fill in the banks for the rest. Okay. So now I cannot avoid 1100 already. I need to put 1100 here. And I need to figure out whether it's positive or negative because the question is very vague. Purposely one. They say transfer. 1100 joule thermal energy is transferred. In or out? You say transfer only? Student transfer or out, out of my class or into my class? How? How try? Don't know. So we need to get other clues. Okay, let's check out this one. From B to C, I'm going to write the clues here. From B to C, I notice that the temperature decreases. Temperature has dropped from 450 to 110. T decrease. If temperature decrease, what can I? Because I probably need to ask delta U. What is the change for delta U? So if the temperature decrease, what happens to the internal energy? Internal energy decrease becomes negative. And you know what's the plot twist? The question actually tells you here. What is represented by a negative W of delta U? Decrease in internal energy. So sometimes Cambridge like to do this kind of plot twist question. They will give you a hint in front, and then you yourself will forget about the hint when you solve the question. And then you're actually like, yeah, they're actually trying to help me, yeah, but I didn't see, okay? So now you see that. The internal energy is decreased because there's a negative delta U. How do we know internal energy decreased because temperature decreases? Temperature decreases, the gas particle won't vibrate that, that much more. So this is negative Q, so that negative 110 plus zero will be negative one one zero zero okay so that is how we fill in the first one all right let me zoom out a bit second one how do we fill in the rest well the second one we, what we can do is we can look at delta u your delta u for the whole cycle must be zero question also try to help you there here they give you hint already no change in internal energy. So if there's no change in internal energy, delta U is zero. So now if you want to put delta U in the cycle is zero, this means neg positive 480 plus negative 1100 plus this delta U you want to find, right? Delta U CA. Delta U for CA is equal to zero. So what's the delta U for C? From C to A. That will be 1100 minus 480, giving you 620 joules. This is 620. Positive, uh, must write sign. Uh, hello, lady and gentlemen. Sign is very important for the first one. Okay? So basically, if you total up this line, everything here, if it's a cycle, the sum is zero. So 480 minus 110 plus 620 is zero. Okay. And finally, part three. I guess I don't know what color to use anymore. Let's go back to blue then. The three. We can use delta U is Q plus W for the cycle CA. Okay, so my delta U is 620. Uh, we're looking for Q and W is negative 240. Okay, so this is from C to A. We know that the work done is negative because volume increased. Work done by the gas. Work done by gas to expand. When you do work, you push out, you lose energy, negative. 
All right, so from here, we will get Q as 620 plus 240. They'll give us 860 Joule. 860. This table is worth four marks. Pretty easy. It's like accounting to call it a gas law sodoku. Okay, so you need to practice and calm down a bit. Be very careful and meticulous for every single stage of the gas process. And remember your main idea. Number one, delta U is Q plus W. Number two, be very sensitive when to put positive, when to put negative. Number three, for a cycle, the total change in internal energy is zero. Many past year questions like this, go try some out on your own time.